Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel and if you guys want to find out about some $1 eyeshadows then make sure you keep watching. So today um, I wanted to share with you guys some eyeshadows that I had saw, I found out about from YouTube, a fellow YouTuber, her channel is Beauty by Crescent. I watched her channel and I, I watched her video, I'm subscribed to her channel and I watched one of her videos. Well, I don't just watch, I just watch one of her videos, I watch a lot of her videos, but this particular video she was talking about some dollar eyeshadows from Sally's. Technically they are $1.59 and she was just sharing, you know, how they, the functionality of the eyeshadows and everything like that. And so I decided to go to Sally's and check them out. So here they are. Um, they come, if you buy four of the pan eyeshadows, you get a free quad to put them in. So here are the eyeshadows. Ah! There they go. And, um, I'm trying to see if I have a wipe over here somewhere, and I, I don't. I think I threw it away. But I'm going to swatch them for you, and I'm going to, I did this look with the eyeshadows. Um, I will insert um, footage of me actually using the eyeshadows. And And um, I'm going to swatch them so you guys can kind of see for yourself. But um, first, I'm just going to give a little information. These are the Bitsy brand. They are in the Sally's. Um, I have never heard of this brand up until when I saw the video on Beauty by Crescent channel. Um, to hear that there are some eyeshadows that you could buy for $1.59. It's like, what? For real? I gotta try that. So, I grabbed them. Um, I'm going to tell you which color is which. This is Beached Bronze. This is, let's see, eh, Moonstone. So, this is beach, Beached Bronze. This is Moonstone. This is Funky Purple. Punky. I'm sorry, this is Punky Purple. And this is Bonfire Attire. So, Beached Bronze, Moonstone, Punky Purple, and Bonfire Attire. Um, straight off the rip, they're not that great of eyeshadows. As you can imagine, they're only $1.59. They are not that great. Um, they're okay. I would say if you're beginning, if you're now in my personal opinion, if you're beginning, these might not be the best shadows for you because they're not that great. Um, they're, they just aren't that functionable to me. Um, for me, when I was starting out to use cheap stuff that's kind of crappy, um, it makes it hard to get what get the look that you're desiring, and to me, that would frustrate me, and I would just throw it down. So, you know, you to me, when you're starting out, you want to buy something. You don't want to spend a whole lot of money, but you don't want to get stuff that's not of good quality because you it'll make it harder for you to learn your craft. So, I, I think it just maybe it depends on the color that you get. The punky purple wasn't bad, but it, it took a whole bunch of applying. Like, I didn't even get it on this lid good. But to get the pigmentation on this lid, I had to apply it quite a few times and I wet my brush about twice. So I put it on dry about two, two to three, maybe even four times, and then I wet my brush two times. So these take a little bit more effort. Um, I, I, I will not be purchasing anymore. But I'm going to go ahead and swatch them for you. So I'm going to swatch Punky Purple first. And here it is. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm not a huge fan of swatching on my channel just because I don't have the greatest camera. 
The next color is Bonfire Attire. And I'm putting that under Punky Purple. And it's kind of like a glittery brown. The next color is Beach Bronzed. And I'm going to put that on top of Punky Purple. You can see that it's right there. And then next is Moonstone. Let's see. Yeah, Moonstone. Now this one was a really odd color. It looks better swatching it on my hand, but when I put it on the brush, it was just doing nothing. It's really pretty in the pan. It's like a glittery white. And I use the on my lids. When I use these on my lids, I used um, Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. And I feel like it was still really hard to work with. So, I mean, if you just want to give them a try, I say go. And I, I bought them so I could get a quad to hold to store them. But I would say just get like two. And my style is like all the shadows, all the shades were picked over. So maybe I just got bad shades. I really don't know. I'm not interested in going back and finding out and trying to get any more. Um, I'm satisfied with the eyeshadow collection that I have. I just wanted to try these out. Um, they, they, are, they seem pigmented when you swatch them or when you put them on your lid. It's a whole nother story. So, I don't know. It's really up to you if you want to try them. I don't really think that they're worth um, the time that it would take to try and get them to show up on your lids. I really don't think they're worth that. But... Um, definitely if you're interested go and try them out maybe you'll have a better experience with them than I did maybe get some better colors you might find some better colors that may work a little better than these um, like I say always do your own research find things out for yourselves you don't necessarily have to believe what I'm saying because that just might be how it worked out for me today I mean it might work out totally different for you. I sure hope that it would. Because this was disappointing, honey. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, I will definitely be adding footage of me putting these, using these eyeshadows on my lids. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions or, questions or comments, leave them down below. If you tried these eyeshadows or if you tried anything else from their brand, comment down below and let me know how it worked out for you. Because I'm really curious to know if I just picked some bad colors or if I just wasn't applying them right. I, I, I would love to hear um, anybody else's input. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, you guys be beautiful.